All right, good morning everybody, and uh, today it's a beautiful, uh, what was it, July 13 or 14, something like that, and uh, it's early uh, morning, and we have, what do we have this episode? This episode is all about Kanyuaba pedal kit, uh, non-electric with no uh, pedal assist, just plain old-fashioned. These are the things that I've received. Not sure why I have two chains. Um, honestly, I am not sure because this is going to go only with one chain. So I guess one chain is spare. Uh, it's supposed to have a link. Yep, master link right over here. And there's a master link right over here. Okay. This uh, goes on a shaft. We're going to see we have to put washers in here. So she doesn't go sideways. It's a it's an interesting belt. Actually, this was fabricated by a person in Colombia, and this is uh, what goes. Uh, um, I'm not sure secondary shaft. Uh, so it goes right over here. So here we go this way, right? And you get this guy this way. All right. So this one goes on this shaft, these two, one goes to the right, the other one goes to the left, preventing these two uh, platforms not shifting back and forth as we set it on the bicycle's body, and well, uh, E-Ride Pro body, let's just say that. Okay, then you have this, you have a couple set screws. This is one, two, okay. There are grooves, there are grooves already done over here. So, uh, yep, there's one there, there's one there. So everything is done nicely. Uh, apparently, this is supposed to be seal bearing. When this is going to come in, I believe I was told it will come in this way. But we'll double check on that. That's what I was told. Or I saw in a video. Okay, so now the chain goes over here. And pretty much... May the pedals make the uh, bike uh, roll. So for legality reasons, that's what we got to do. And uh, we're going to go with the Kanyuaba uh, pedal kit, not electric, because I don't need more issues and problems. I ordered the, uh, the flat pedals. Uh, again, this is completely different than Suran and uh, uh, Teleria Triple X. I'll tell you MX4 um, as you can see this is shifted um, again it's been tested it's been uh, manufactured this way it's on the angle you have your kick sense over here the chasm that you can um, attach it to um, of course this one says left this one says right your pedals here make sure your spacing is just right over here um, these are 86 millimeters, uh, pedal arms, um, so they are pretty small. I'm not sure what the ratio is going to be at the end with this chain, these brackets, and, uh, and, uh, the, um, ratio on a bike. But as you can see, this is, uh, apparently custom made, fabricated for, uh, E-Ride Pro, um, so uh, I've noticed that if you do want to keep your uh, packs, you can keep your packs and you can just get rid of the pedals out. You don't have to remove the entire system. So you would uh, pretty much remove your pedal with uh, arm remover and then you will uh, put your pack right over here. So you're not losing any, any functionality in regards of packs. Um, if you're going off-road for the entire day or you have a season where you will be going off-road where you need packs, um, you'll pretty much switch over to uh, the other system. I uh, suggest for everybody to use a Lactai. Do not use red. I recommend using blue. As we are standing over here, we have two. I'm not going to use two. So it happens that I have two, as you can see. These pedal nuts, they have uh, thread lock. Again, 
I'm assuming um, is uh, one chain for spare parts. Kaniwaba sticker if you want to put it on. I'm not really a fan of Kaniwaba. I love the idea. I support the idea, but uh, all I do, I support the idea. I don't uh, market or advertise for anybody. Um, you know, it, it, some people would guess what that is. Some people might have to read into it. Um, all we really do care about is the punctuality of uh, pedals that uh, it moves the bike. And therefore, we can legally travel in New York City and we can move ahead and take the uh, Staten Island Ferry or New York City Ferry to whichever parts of uh, uh, New York City we would like. And uh, nobody will legally have the right to uh, question us in regards of uh, our bicycle. Um, right now, at this moment, since I don't have these pedal kits, I cannot take the Staten Island Ferry. And of course, every time I ride a bike or an e pro, um, there's always a confusion of, uh, you know, is it electric bike or is it uh, electric motorcycle? Um, as we stand right now with the pecs, it makes it an electric bike. And uh, the minute I install pedals, there's an extremely gray area uh, in, benefit, uh, in, in benefits of me or to me because I can always argue that it is propelled with pedals. Therefore, it is considered a bicycle. However, it is assisted with a power from a battery and a motor. And that's when uh, the whole thing becomes great. Um, I believe and I know that if you are respectful, if you are not speeding, if you're not taking red lights and stopping and following pretty much all the rules of the road, no police officer is going to bother you by seizing uh, this bike because it has no pegs, it has pedals. And as long as I can move that bike with those pedals, uh, and legalities um, it's considered electric bike and again we do have uh, eco and sport if you keep it at eco it is defined as uh, class 3 uh, seven so-called 750 watts uh, because apparently in physics the department of transportation states that 750 watts will give you 28 miles an hour um, in regards to torque, that's a different discussion due to the fact that that torque is being generated by a sprocket uh, in the back and uh, in the front, which is considered a uh, comfortable gear ratio. Um, and still, you could go up to 20 miles an hour with a great torque. All right, so today it's a little bit warm. Um, I'm dressed for the occasion. I'm going to have my iced coffee. Um, I am going to have to go outside uh disassemble a couple of things and assemble this guy um the uh, biggest issue that i see is the cover for the uh, shaft that goes over here um on a bike there are three screws that are hidden very conveniently uh, to the side where nobody can see it so i see that giving me a problem other than that um everything should be nice and aesthetic. so uh um, I will continue uh, shooting short bursts of videos. As I get more frustrated, probably I'll shoot less. Um, I'm calculating it'll take me a maximum 45 minutes to this, this to uh, finish this project, not including to removing the uh, the chain guard and the axle and the shaft guard that is already in uh, E-Ride Pro uh, installed by manufactured. So I will not count from that time. I will come from the time that that cover is removed. Okay, guys. So uh, wait just a second. Obviously, in my real world, this is going to be you know few few more moments later. For you, it's going to be a second where you're going to see where we're standing. I will probably continue videotaping the uh, process, and uh, if I step on anything that should be addressed, or I think I should uh, put out on YouTube as a hiccup or some sort of other issue i'll definitely do so i do again recommend blue lacti on these uh, nuts this goes um, between uh, the frame so it doesn't rub the frame between the suspension and the frame okay it's very simple to the point 
awesome idea. I wish I could come up with that, but I didn't. So stick around, guys. See how this goes. First hip hiccup of the day. Um, it's uh, these guys and this guy. Yeah, that's your your cover for the uh, axle and what a pain it is to get it out. I literally had to do it with this guy and some other um, Allen keys and it was just a disaster. But here's a funny thing, right? So this is supposed to be version two. I don't know, these, these little, little welds, you know? I mean, question is, is it going to break? Is it not going to break? Is it going to pop? Because then that means I would have to take out the entire shaft and do all that. But again, um, we're going to address that when it happens. Knock it off the wood. It's not going to happen. But yeah, so this this guard, uh, it was a pain. I didn't calculate how much time I took, but it, it was quite some time. It was about 30 minutes or so. Just uh, going back and forth, wrestling with the, with the screws and the Allen keys and trying to get from underneath, from the top, from the side, from the bottom. And oof, thank God I got rid of it. Oh, my God. One less problem to deal with. So, we'll see. They do have one piece like that. So, since, uh, since uh, I mean, I already have it open, but since I'm not putting anything back on, I uh, just, you know, will watch and observe and see if uh, the uh, the belt and the pulley is kind of getting chewed up. All right? So, let's see what uh, our next issue problem is going to be. So far, it's the cover. 30 minutes. Let's move on. All right, boys and girls. So this is what you're going to have left. Your pecs. Obviously, uh, you can take these off and put them right there uh, in the front. So you pedal, take your pedal off and put pecs. That's not a problem because the way they go in. All right. Can you? Or can you not? I don't think you could put them because you're missing. What are you missing? So you got this guy. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if you can put the pecs. Well, I really don't want to go back to pecs, so it is what it is. So you got pecs left. You got the uh, supporting bracket shaft. And you have the opposite pec. From the other side, pretty much the kickstand's been removed. So here you go, Kanyuaba pedal kit, and you're not gonna go nowhere with this bike. It does like two miles an hour. It loses its resistance at like three miles. So the entire purpose of it is that obviously it's got pedals. Uh, I honestly think it fucks up the bike. Um, probably the uh, the looks of it. Excuse me. The uh, these pedals, uh, they they're very grippy. Not really if I like it much, but we'll we'll handle that. I'd rather have it grippy than not grippy at all. But if this does go to your shin, God bless you, my son. Hopefully, ER knows how to how to stitch open wounds. So I'm honestly thinking that your pack is going to be able to go somewhere. I've seen it done. On the internet, and the pegs do go over here. Uh, torque uh, is done good. Everything is completely locked tight. Uh, you got this dude right there. We're not putting the guard on the top. So she was straight that way, all the way to the right. She was aligned very nicely. So we left it like that. I don't want any movement. Um, I mean, even, even though it's a V2, it's got these. Um, crappy welding pots, welding ticks, it's a shitty job. I know there is a one piece uh, uh, pulley, so if this one goes bad, I hope it doesn't, we'll address that and we'll uh, redo the whole thing. Again, cover, we're leaving it alone. And uh, kickstand, we took, we took, <coughs> excuse me, we took the sensor out, it's up there. It's useless to me. 
I don't use it, I don't care for it. When you put this down, obviously, the uh, pedal is going to interfere with the kickstand. So, obviously, you don't ride with a kickstand on. But other than that, everything was transferred very nice. Uh, there's two washers in here. In here, I use both washers, even though the seller used only one. I used two, and she's very nice. Um, again, this thing is so you can you can kick it with your leg, and it goes in. Um, other than that, I think this thing, uh, you know, it it uh, makes it legal. I honestly right now can take it on the ferry and nobody literally can say anything. Um, what do we got here? Little scratches? Are they? I don't know how, but eh, we don't worry about it. Why? Because we went off-road, so it could have been done by off-road. So scratches going in and out. Anyway, so yeah, so that's the uh, uh, Kaniwaba kit. It propels, it works. That's the uh, that's the goal. You ain't gonna go nowhere, but at least these things are not long, so they actually do feel like like pecs, which is pretty cool. And um, it is what it is. Anyway, question in regards to this: Should I get rid of this, or should I get like um, um, there is a called guard from China uh, out of uh, like aluminum? So I was wondering if I should change that or just leave it like that. Maybe do a couple openings here and there, so she gets little air I don't know but there's air over too this is this is the motor so you get air regardless all right so a quick video it took about 45 minutes like I predicted uh, a lot of squeezing a lot of finger cutting things we are cut a couple knuckles we cut so was it hard no was it frustrating no it was just time consuming and uh, it was it was a lots of a lots of nooks and holes that I had to go into between, but um, other than that, uh, it's worth every penny. I don't I don't see a problem. It it uh, it operates very nicely. Beautiful. Take a couple of pictures and call it a day. All right, folks. Hope you enjoy. Stick around. Subscribe. Comment down below and share. Make sure you write safe. Also, take care.